Can we have a lock? Once? This is my yeah. This is my life. So this is where I do. This is how I tour. So when I'm touring, I do shows that can be up to 40 minutes long, and I just turn up with my bits and bobs and set it up. So this is how I run my life. That's... Oh my gosh. So this, and I get really personally attached to my props. Yeah. So like this rubbish bag, I've had to hold my balloons for about two and a half <laughs> years now. So Why did you just get a new rubbish bag? Because I just like this one. <laughs> it's good, it works, it's effective, but it's now got all these weird holes in it and it's just, it's slowly falling apart. And um, I remember even on America's Got Talent, they because I used this bag on the show, they were like, do you want us to get you a nicer bag? And it's like, nah, this one's fine. These are new puppets, so I just buy all my props and then they slowly get broken and I fix them up. And again, everything's allowed to look a bit broken. Uh, my lion, I've had this lion for like, what's now, 12 years? Is the lion in the show? Yeah, lion's in the show. Lion, I make, uh, make someone do a handstand to do whatnot. <laughs> I once lost the lion. I left the lion behind at a gig and I ended up panicking, going, I've lost my lion, I don't know what to do. I rang the venue and they found it. Oh. They kept it at the reception for me and I picked it up like two weeks later. But they had named it for some reason. Oh, for some reason they had written Alphonse <laughs> on the bottom of the lion. And I don't know why, but now this lion is forever known as Alphonse. <laughs> These are the oven gloves. Oh, so, oh yes. my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go for it. <laughs> Oh my gosh! So I'm in. I'm you don't in... know, like I'm kind of fanboy. <laughs> <in my laughs> You're bro, touching like... the oven gloves. <laughs> Forty-five. They've had more views than I have. Everyone, everyone wants the oven gloves. They get thrown around a lot, so they're filthy. They're really dirty. And of course, the old gaffer tape. This yes. is huge. This is you. This is it. The Nashua three five seven. Yeah. <laughs> really? That's my brand of choice. How many rolls would you go through a year? I ooh, go through quite a lot. I was lucky enough to track down berry plastics and and sort of. I dropped them a line after the video had sort of blown up. Went, hello, I do this routine. So, so you've got a gaffer. I've got a bit of. They, they, they sent me a. They sent me a big box of tape, and the excitement I had when I opened and there was like 40 rolls of tape. It was like, oh my god, Christmas! It's I love just stacked up in my office. It's I love how so people good. like this. People that sponsored by Adidas oh, and Nike. Tape. Look at that. It's, a, it's an easy rip. Oh, delightful. There's a really good thread count on that. Like you'll notice, there's a nice shine. Picks up a bit of light, and just the quality. Of glue. Oh, so there's oh. all sorts of. And see, Peter I've seen your face. routine quite a few times, right. and, and oh. this is this one. Yes, trust the tape measures. They um, they tend to break quite a lot, so I do end up replacing oh, those. Yeah, I won't do this. But no, no, these are fine because this oh. is this is a new brand of tape measure that I've discovered called Fat Max. Is it? Quite a <laughs> quite a fat wide. Good, look at that bad boy. Oh, you know dude, this, this, is, wow. this is incredible. So there's all more oh, of the same. Balloons. Yep, the trusty balloons. The gunfire, these staples, these are the ones from the show. Really? Oh, yeah. Yep. I have to make sure this, that they fire, because I've had shows where staples have jammed before, oh. and it's like, well, that ruins the joke. So I quite like the, the ritual of loading staples every show. I always make sure it's got a full... Going into bed. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the red dress, this was from a... a uh, a charity shop on King, on Sandringham Road. Oh, wow. So this is the one, and it looks like you're dancing with someone. Yep, this is the dancing dress that I did in the first audition. Never seen you shine. Brilliant. Brilliant. When you come up with your ideas, like, is that at like night time when you're like, like um, when are you best in your creative zone? I tend to lock myself away in a room with my computer, and and like the, a lot of the show, like my second show, okay, my first show, my first one hour show that I wrote. Uh, was back in New Zealand. It was very natural to kind of do it because I was just living in a flat and doing comedy down at the comedy club. Yeah. And then I would just write a joke here and there and then accidentally I realised I've got an hour of material. This is delightful. <laughs> Your uh, then, must have loved yeah, it. Yeah, that was, that was, yeah, it was a joy of me <laughs> trying stuff out, going, look at this, look at this, look at this. Uh, but then the second show, which was the balloon one and, and it was a much bigger show, I essentially I booked that into a festival without having a show. Oh, and so wow. there was the deadline there of going, I need to write a show. Oh, wow. And so I ended up having three months where I ended up getting a whole lot of props, locked into a room and just went crazy. Just so sometimes the idea can come from the prop at yep. the beginning. Sometimes the, yep, the prop, not all things. Like the oven gloves, for example, that, that generally came about from a dinner <clears throat> with my nephew. And my nephew was playing with oven. We just put the meal down kind of thing. And then we started playing with these oven gloves, talking to each other. And then that was it. It's like, well, that's really funny. And then a lot of the time I would base it also on a pun. So, because I like puns. Yeah. So endless glove is yeah. endless love, yeah. obviously. <laughs> 
So are you working on new material I'm, right now? Yes, I'm, well, funnily enough, I've booked myself into a festival in 2018 <laughs> for a whole brand new hour. I've sort of been reinventing a lot of the show over again, the recent tour that I've done, I've, uh, we were lucky enough to get a producer on board, Kilimanjaro came in and they helped fund up the show and make it even bigger, so we got a, a much bigger set and we made the show, essentially we made a West End show out of Tate Face. Wow. Which is now funny because we are taking the show to the West End. So we've got two months at the Garrick Theatre in June and July, so, which is quite huge. So that's, that's massive. That's on sale now. And you were telling us before that you've got some exciting news Yes, the exciting news which should be all on sale by the time this goes out to TV land. And uh, I'm going to be in Las Vegas, so I'm doing a residency in a casino over there before going on to do an American tour. You are killing it. <laughs> you even so cool. the, just think, like, is this real life? Oh, like, occasionally there's the times where I realise that people are just going to go, they're just gloves. <laughs> Hang on, <laughs> how is he doing this? How do I, yeah, there is an element where I go, I'm getting away with this. There but the simplicity sure. is what makes it so exquisite and yeah. how you're able to turn something that that's simple. That mundane and whatnot into and a fun thing. Yeah. yeah, into a fantastic show that's entertaining yeah. for no, everyone. No, it is, it is delightful. I do I do get a kick out of it. And then it is really fun. For me, it, I love the idea of people at home getting their own oven gloves and singing. So that's that's the fun thing. They were guilty. Tape measures and <laughs> enjoyable times. And the other thing is, it's about playing. A lot of people forget how to play. And playing is so important. You just have to switch off. Like, the real world is horrendous sometimes. <laughs> and when people come to my shows, I want them to forget all of that. So there's never, I make sure there's no political messages, there's no real content, it's just an hour to two hours of nice, fun silliness. Now it's been awesome to catch up with you and to see, I, I guess, you behind the scenes yes, and to see chaos. how you operate and how your brain works and we wanted to bring, um, where have they gone? Oh, oh, we wanted to bring oh, sorry, it's oh, a bit of New Zealand. Oh, no, oh, this is good out. Turn the cameras off. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Oh, yes. Uh, because we hear that this stuff is quite hard to get. This is gold. Yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you a little very love much. from New Zealand because oh, we are loving you and so proud of you. Back ah, yeah. Thank you all. I would definitely binge on that. <laughs> Great. Here you go. Thank is you. it too much if I put tape in? Not at all. Go for it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're just normal. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't control your side. <laughs> He's just giggling.